Ezra, Shalishi, 3 Ezra, 2. In the first year of Koresh, king of the Persians, that the word of Yahuwah might be accomplished, that he had promised by the mouth of Yermiyahu. And Yahuwah raised up the Ruach of Koresh, the king of the Persians, and he made proclamation through all his kingdom, and also by writing, saying, Thus says Koresh, king of the Persians, Yahuwah of Yashar'el, El Elyan Yahuwah, has made me king of the whole world, and commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem in Yahuda. If therefore there be any of you that are of his people, let Yahuwah, even his Adonai, be with him, and let him go up to Yerushalayim that is in Yahuda, and build the house of Yahuwah, of Yashad'el, for he is Yahuwah that dwells in Yerushalayim. Whosoever then dwell in the places about, let them help him, those, I say, that are his neighbors, with gold and with silver, with gifts, with horses and with cattle, and other things which have been set forth by vow for the temple of Yahweh at Yerushalayim. Then the chief of the families of Yahuda and of the tribe of Binyamin stood up, the priests also, and the Leviim, and all they whose mind Yahuwah had moved to go up and to build a house for Yahuwah at Yerushalayim. And they that dwelt round about them and helped them in all things with silver and gold, with horses and cattle, and with very many free gifts of a great number, whose minds were stirred up thereto. King Koresh also brought forth the holy vessels which Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Yerushalayim and had set up in his temple of idols. Now when Koresh, king of the Persians, had brought them forth, he delivered them to Mithrada, his treasurer, and by him they were delivered to Sheshbat Setzar, the governor of Yahuda. And this was the number of them, a thousand golden cups and a thousand of silver, censers of silver, twenty-nine, vials of gold, thirty, and of silver, two thousand, four hundred and ten, and a thousand other vessels. So all the vessels of gold and of silver which were carried away were five thousand four hundred three score and nine. These were brought back by Shesh Batsatsar together with them of the captivity from Babel to Yerushalayim. But in the time of Artach Shashta, king of the Persians, Bishlam and Mithrada, and Taviel and Rechem and Beat Elam, and Shimshai the secretary, with others that were in commission with them, dwelling in Shomoron and other places, wrote unto him against them that dwelt in Yahuda and Yerushalayim, these Sepharim following. To King Artach Shashta, our Lord, your servants, Rechom, the story writer, and Shimshai, the scribe, and the rest of their council, and the judges that are in Silo Aram and Phoenicia, be it known 
Rather, be it now known to the Lord King that the Yahudim that are up from you to us being come into Yerushalayim, that rebellious and wicked city, do build the marketplaces and repair the walls of it and do lay the foundation of the temple. Now if this city and the walls thereof be made up again, they will not only refuse to give tribute, but also rebel against kings. And for as much as the things pertaining to the temple are now in hand, we think it meet not to neglect such a matter, but to speak unto our Lord the King, to the intent that, if it be your pleasure, it may be sought out in the Sepharim of your fathers. And you shall find in the Chronicles what is written concerning these things. And so shall understand that that city was rebellious, troubling both kings and cities, and that the Yahudim were rebellious, and raised always wars therein. For the which cause even this city was made desolate. Wherefore now we do declare unto you, O Lord the King, that if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up anew, you shall from henceforth have no passage into Silo Aram and Phoenicia. Then the king wrote back again to Recham, the story writer, to Beatelem, to Shimshai the scribe, and to the rest that were in commission. And dwellers in Shomoron and Aram and Phoenicia after this manner. I have read the Sefer which ye have sent unto me. Therefore, I commanded to make diligent, rather, diligent search, and it has been found that that city was from the beginning practicing against kings, and the men therein were given to rebellion and war, and that mighty kings and fierce were in Yerushalayim, who reigned and exacted tributes in Silo, Aram, and Phoenicia. Now, therefore, I have commanded to hinder those men from building the city and heed to be taken that there be no more done in it and that those wicked workers proceed no further to the annoyance of kings. Then King Artach Shashta, his Sepharim being read, Racham, and Shimshai the scribe, and the rest that were in commission with them, removing in haste toward Yerushalayim, with a troop of horsemen and a multitude of people in battle array, and began to hinder the builders, and the building of the temple in Yerushalayim ceased until the second year of the reign of Darevayish, king of the Persians.